$5,000 Wrestle Royal with two and eight, 22 men involved. Lance Russell standing here to bring you one of the most exciting matches you've seen. The money is suspended from a pole 10 feet above the ring post. There is a check in there that is to be made out of the first man who climbs the pole, brings it down, and secures it. This is going to be mayhem of the first order with 22 men in there. In order to be eliminated, you must be thrown over the top rope. Bear in mind, you do not have to be the last man in order to get the money. It could be anyone from the very opening belt. The first one to get up there and get that satchel with $5,000 check in it will be the winner of that check, and that will signify the end of the bout. If you're over the top rope, you're automatically... There goes Bobo Brazil. And Tony Santos grabs him from behind and pulls him back down. Ricky Gibson going up and making an attempt. Two, three of them, Jerry Lawler included. Pulling Gibson back off that pole. $5,000 awaits the man that is able to scale that pole. There goes Pepe Lopez up. Bobo Brazil helps him back down. Mr. Kamikaze makes a swing around it, but he's automatically wheeled right back into the ring. Bobo and Bearcat Brown making a valiant effort to try to get up there on top of that pole and grab that $5,000 check. There goes Kamikaze, but he's caught again. Plenty of wrestlers trying to scale that 10-foot height in order to get a hold of that $5,000 check. Grabs it, but it is not going to be legal. Ooh, Eddie Marlin takes Jerry Lawler in the interim period. Bill Costello is out. Robert Fuller, I think, was quadruple team and eliminated very early. They're still trying to eliminate each other from that ring. There's Gibson and Lawler in the left-hand corner. Rick Gibson and Jerry Lawler. He may have him out of here. This could be it for Lawler. As our best count, we have Sam Bass, Jerry Lawler, Ricky Gibson, Tojo Yamamoto, Melvin Kimball, Eddie Marlin, Bearcat Brown, Tommy Gilbert. And there goes Tojo over the top as Sam Bass and Jerry Lawler team up. The pole still has not been secured so that the $5,000 atop the pole is not available to anybody at the present time. The pole was broken off on a couple of grabs, and there goes Bearcat. Al Green puts him out of there. We are now down to seven men in the ring at the time. Bass and Lawler, Gibson, Melvin Kimball, Gilbert, and Eddie Marlin. Al Green, we didn't mention Al. We're down to just three men now in this $5,000 Wrestle Royal jackpot of $5,000 hanging from that pole. In the ring, you've got Eddie Marlin, Al Green, and Jerry Lawler. That's the remaining three. Referee Bill Mack on the inside, referee Tommy Sloan on the outside. In that container atop that pole is a check for $5,000 and it will be made out to the one who gets it first. It does not have to be the last person in that ring. A moment ago you saw Jerry Lawler take a run for it and he was grabbed by Marlin. He thought he had a clear shot at it. And now Al Green and Lawler are working on Marlin trying to clear the obstacle. What happens when Lawler and Al Green are going to be in there? If they should successfully eliminate Marlin, I don't know. 
both of them have the same manager, Sam Bass, who has been eliminated. Eddie Marlin taking quite a beating from Lawler and Al Green right at the present time. Remember, to be eliminated, you must be thrown over the top rope. It's not a pin. It is a question of being thrown over that top rope. Jerry Lawler says, hold it. I don't know what he wants to do with him. I guess he wants to punish Marlon some more. Lawler asked Green to pick Marlon back up. And uh, Jerry Lawler pounding away on Eddie Marlin with Al Green holding him. Mm. There goes Marlin outside the ring. Eddie caught between these two buzz saws. Explanation being that Marlin went through the second rope, not the top rope. Eddie's on the outside of the ring, and Al Green and Jerry Lawler are in there discussing it. I don't know what it is. Al Green holds Jerry Lawler back, says, hold it, buddy. Hold it. Oh, no. Green and Jerry Lawler in the center of the ring right now. Eddie Marlin still on the outside. He, to the best of my knowledge, has not been officially eliminated as Al Green and Jerry Lawler are talking about it. It looks like Lawler's trying to say, you keep an eye on Marlon, and I'll make absolutely certain that the money's still there, and Al Green says, hold it. Wait a minute, Lawler. We're not through talking about this. Now Al's saying, you go over and keep an eye on Eddie Marlon. Al knocks Marlon back out on the concrete. And now Lawler and Al Green are having quite a discussion as to exactly how they're going to go about taking care of the money. Oh, and Lawler nails Al Green from behind. He's going up the pole after the money himself when Al grabs a hold of Lawler and pulls him back down. So we have a falling out among thieves. Lawler and Al Green are in the ring. Eddie Marlin is up off the floor and slips into the ring from the side. Marlin goes up on the top rope. He's going to get it. He got it. Eddie Marlin picks up the $5,000 check while Al Green and Jerry Lawler are slugging each other in the center of the ring. Marlin, the winner of the $5,000, as Jerry Lawler and Al Green were up there nailing each other, battling each other for that $5,000, and Al is having a temper tantrum right now in the middle of the ring. And Eddie Marlin is the one who comes through with a $5,000. Lawler and Al Green sat there and battled themselves right out of it, and Al is some kind of mad. And so that's the way it is. The 